rather than you know having a thousand dollars and going into a store like that just buying the whole store It's like, in my opinion, probably one of the coolest parts about Trinity. It's like a free science gallery where they have exhibitions on every year and they just switch them up every like two months. It's very interesting. I might bring you here someday. The reason why I'm here is because doing a small bit of filming in Sandy for later on and so it didn't make time sense to go to UCD, walk to the bus and then get the bus out to Sandyford. So uh, we're going to do some work here, get some study done and after that we're going to be going to Kildare Street to get the 11 bus. So I'm just looking at real time stuff here making sure I don't miss it. We'll catch up after some notes have been taken. It is gloomy right now. Shout out to Mark for this snapback. Got it last week, chuffed. I feel like a new man. I am the Batman. Walking through Trinity. I think it's the oldest university in Ireland. It's probably one of the most prestigious. It certainly looks that way. You can see by the buildings and stuff that it just sort of looks great. So we're going to the bus now. Yes, I could have gone a shorter route. Why did I go the longer route? It was because I wanted to get a cinematic sequence. See that? See those big trees and gates and stuff? That's where the Irish government is making the country great again. I love the Irish people. Together we will make Ireland green again. I was really hoping I'm at the right bus stop. I'm really bad with directions. Oh, hey, we did make it. 11 and 10 minutes. Six minutes until the bus comes. Doing prep for my exams at the moment. I have four exams, one this Saturday, and then three the following week. Maths is fine because I did well at continuous assessments. Then there's like data analytics. Uh, what are you gonna do? And then there's two like Englishy ones called Business and Society and Inside Organizations. They're like taking case studies and concepts you've learned in class and like, not like, but applying them to a real life business situation. But yeah, at the moment it's like a nice balance between do some videos, study as much as I can. One lesson I did learn from DC last year is that don't be too stressed about first year exams. One, because they're not as difficult as you think. And two, first year really is about exploration and getting your exams. Um, but there's no point stressing over it too much. There it is. I'm gonna place you here where I placed you last time I went to Sandyford. We arrived in the beautiful Sandyford. It's a very small shoot, it's like 15 20 minutes. It's actually the same place where we went to that gym last time, which you probably remember that gym edit. Apologies here from the offset, I really don't think you're going to be able to hear me properly with this mic. But that wasn't 15 minutes, that was about 75 minutes and it was probably the most inspirational 75 minutes of my life. It was a real awakening moment for me. I knew I had the attitude and the, and the, and the mentality to fight, but I definitely didn't have the skills that I thought I had. Many people that before us turned up in that building, got a hood and never came back and just left and made an excuse when they didn't have to be there. Bringing it back to it, the mentality and the brain of what you do 
There's something in you there before skills, before muscles, before the will to fight that, that will, will always make you better. So at that time I thought I was, I was the bee's knees. But I realised I wasn't, I was just about to embark on a, I'd say a 12 year journey now. So one day set off 12 years. Paddy Houlihan doing a talk. I'd never met the man before. So he went up the USC ranks with uh, Conor McGregor. It was, I'm literally awestruck. That's why I can't speak. Like, it was just the most inspirational shit I've ever heard in my life. Up here is a chocked. And the reason why I know it's chocked is because I recognize it from one of Rob Lipset's videos. So, we have chopped Subway and Sushi Bar. We're gonna go for chopped. Any suggestions you think would be nice? Yeah. Thank you very much. So, arrived in shop. They've got a real festive bag going on here. Merry Christmas! Opted for the pre free chicken. Oh, look at that. Three, two. There you go. Completely finished. Now to get the bus back to UCD. So, look. Completely empty bus. Clearly nobody likes me. Um, so yeah, that's our sort of morning, afternoon adventure finish. It's almost one o'clock. Um, gonna go back to UCD, work, study, all that jazz. See you guys this evening, and we can have more of a chat then. Talk to you, buddy. What's up, everyone? Been in Queen for the past, like, three hours getting work done. There's like a fine line between video work and getting college work done, and I'm teetering on the edge. I watched an interesting video last night by David Laid. If you don't know, David Laid is like an 18 year old bodybuilder. Uh, he's absolutely killing it, has over 200,000 subscribers. But like I was sort of finished work around 10 o'clock or something and I fell onto YouTube and I saw this video of him doing his 10K chal calorie challenge. But the very first part of the video says this. I also, I just really, really, I really want to get better at talking to the camera to you guys because like anyone that knows me like mm -hmm. in person, like any of my close friends, like even Dill filming me yeah. right now, like right now, like I'm just, for some reason, I don't know how to fully, fully be myself yeah, it's, on camera. It's, it's and I can really relate to that because being authentic in videos is very, very difficult. I was looking back at some of my older videos that I did even this year and I look back at them and I feel like I'm really fake. At the time I was watching a lot of Casey Neistat and you can see, even if you watch some of the vlogs, it's really just me going from place to place to place, putting in sort of cool, traveling sequences, but there isn't a lot of me in it. It's just sort of copying somebody else without adding in any of what Thomas Arnold is at his core. And it's interesting to see how these things, how these videos have developed. And I feel like they're more authentic to me as time goes on. You see more of myself, they're more unique, just by doing it over and over again. So, gotta go back to some work, then we're gonna hit the gym. <laughs> Look at these are some gorgeous like strobe lights. Some green ones over here as well. Oh, I'll leave that there. Some green one over here. Look. Oh. So we're gonna go to the gym, get some gains. See you in the locker shot. What a day it is. All the top lockers are taken except this one. We nailed it, boss. Always tough getting those evening workouts in because I'm hungry. That is the only reason why. So, um, yes, I have nothing else to say, and now I'm going to close the locker and you're going to see Snapchats. In 1992, I came out the womb winning. 1999, I was black on both sides. Still had my old teeth. First concert in sync. Papa bought me G code. Just a juvie with some meat and let them old folks tell me that I was school with them white folks. Thank you, Einstein, for your insightful comments. That was a fantastic day, feeling pumped after the gym, got a great session in. Uh, we did a huge amount today, going around, doing a shoot, coming back, studying, so packed with exams and stuff, studying everything, but this is time of year, we're freaking crushing it. Anyway, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like rating, and that, we'll see you guys soon. Peace.
school with them white folks How I grew up black It was a little mic I started killing every night Around the same time I started ghosting like a poltergeist Puff, puff, passing no magic dragon Blowing fire though Thoughts kept dashing high so long We jet lagging destined for